Seizures are debilitating episodes which can affect both kids and adults and they lead to, in most cases, the person losing their consciousness. They may be shaking, a single part of their body may be shaking, maybe their lips, maybe their eyes, their arms, extremities, they'll be shaking. In this whole process, you are completely incapacitated. You don't know what's going on. You may be thrashing yourself on the floor. If you're swimming, that is gonna be horrible. You're walking on the street, then you're gonna get into an accident. And not only that, this disrupts your whole life and it affects yourself as well as your family. Your education is affected. Your love life is affected. Your job is affected. So what happens? People are placed on medication and a lot of times medications don't cut it. They're unable to deal with your seizures properly and you still have episodes. Now, especially in these situations, what are you supposed to do? What are your options? Do you have to live like this for the rest of your life? So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. If you can prevent your seizures through dietary means. Today I'm gonna to talk about the ketogenic diet and the modified Atkins diet. How is seizures or epilepsy normally treated? So the doctor of course evaluates you and gives you medication. And sometimes the medications don't work. The first medication that you're placed on, you're still getting seizures or you may have side effects. Then you have to be placed on a second medication on top of that as well. Now sometimes it happens that two medications don't work and then the doctor ends up putting on a third medication. Now all these medications come with their side effects. One option that some patients may have is to get surgery. It's especially if you have focal seizures, meaning it's arising for only a single part of the brain. How are people with more generalized epileptic disorders, then surgery in many cases is not an option. So dietary measures that I'm gonna talk about today may be effective for you if you have these problems. Now, is this actually true and can people definitely benefit from the ketogenic diet? Yes, it has been shown and even as early as 1920s, there has been studies out there that the ketogenic diet can benefit patients with epileptic disorders. Is there actually any real benefit? Studies have actually shown that 60% of the kids will have at least 50% benefit and improvement in their seizures. And and 30% of the kids will have 90% almost remission of this problem. Now what the neurologist will do is eventually the neurologist will try to take off your seizure medication and see how you're doing. Now, isn't that gonna be great that you don't have to take some of those pills anymore because all these pills come with side effects. Now, the ketogenic diet also has benefits for the adults, but not as much. But if you are on two drugs or three drugs and you still are having seizures, then why not try it out? Now, to be honest, there surely are some side effects of the ketogenic diet. Some people have stomach problems, especially when they're starting off with the ketogenic diet. Others, if they have cholesterol problems, ketogenic diet can raise your cholesterol. Some people in rare circumstances have an inflammation of the pancreas called pancreatitis, and that could be pretty bad. Now, especially for kids, may have slight growth reduction as well. So it is very important to weigh the pros and cons of this diet and see how debilitating are your seizures and whether it's worth the risk. So you always have to talk to your primary care physician as well as your neurologist on what the risk benefits ratio here is. Especially kids on the ketogenic diet do get weaker bones. So it is recommended actually that all kids especially must be on calcium and vitamin D tablets. Now the ketogenic diet also predisposes you to getting kidney stones. So now these are definitely aspects that people and parents have to think about and of course have a detailed discussion with your doctor as well as uh, your neurologist and come to the best solution for yourself. So now what is the ketogenic diet? So the ketogenic diet consists of high fat, low amount of protein and almost nil carbohydrates. So in a ketogenic diet, the body drives its energy from fat. So instead of carbohydrates or glucose, Glucose, the body is using fat and in many circumstances if the patient has a problem with weight then the ketogenic diet is actually a good diet is a good diet for weight loss as well so without going into much details of the diet I'll mention a few aspects and let you know of what you can eat and what you cannot eat on a ketogenic diet so as I mentioned you have to eat lots of fat and fat gives you the energy you have to eat decreased amounts of proteins and carbohydrates you basically have to cut them out and you'll have have to try to eat less than 20 grams of carbohydrates that is very very little so what are you going to eat on the ketogenic diet you're going to cut down on your protein however you are okay to eating all types of meat make sure that you leave all the fat with the meat you're not going to throw the fat out what i prefer is actually fish and seafood lots of healthy fat in fish and seafood next of course 
fat is your number one source of your energy. Animal fat, butter, oils, ghee, lard, eggs, cheese, cream, milk, you have to drink full fat, full fat milk here. Carbs, you gotta cut the carbs out because what's gonna happen is that it's difficult to fully comply at all times and you'll end up introducing carbs in your food nonetheless in things like in ketchup or food dressing. Of course, to be restricted because food has carbohydrates. What you can do is you can eat small amounts of strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. You have to be careful of blueberries because blueberries do have higher amounts of glucose in them. Now with veggies, you have to be careful with the veggies, but you can eat lettuce, broccoli, okra. I actually like asparagus a lot. Avocados, uh, tomatoes, mushrooms, green beans, and cabbage. So with a keto diet, you're gonna be eating high amounts of fat and oils, and you're gonna be avoiding carbohydrates completely. And protein you can eat, but of course you're gonna eat protein that is high in fat. In the modified Atkins diet, there is benefit for people with seizures, however not as much as compared to the ketogenic diet. You're supposed to eat good amount of protein, but protein of course with fat, and you can eat carbohydrates, but not as much as a regular person. And you should try to eat carbohydrates with a low glycemic index, uh, meaning carbohydrates that do not release sugars quickly, such as a white bread or white rice, and you should definitely be avoiding that. And you should be limiting your carbohydrates if you can. Now you have a good idea how you can potentially control your uncontrolled seizures with diet. You can try the ketogenic diet, or you can try the modified Atkins diet. Now the next steps, don't try to do this by yourself at home because you surely need help. The doctor, you have to talk to your primary care physician and you have to talk to your neurologist if you are a candidate for this. Are there potentially other options for you such as surgery? or are there things that you have to consider before you go on such a diet? Next step is you have to talk to a dietitian and the dietitian will give you the exact details of what you should be eating, what you should not be eating and set up a meal plan for you. What I've talked about here is great, however, you need to be in touch with a dietitian who will monitor your activities and monitor your diet. Now, three months. You have to be on these diets at least for three months to ascertain if you are receiving any benefit or not. You probably will get benefit before the three months are up, but make sure you stick to your diet for at least three months, and then your doctor will try to cut down on your medication and see how you're doing. Lab work. At your first visit or when you have initiated your plan to go on the ketogenic diet or the modified Atkins diet, your doctors will definitely check your labs and get a baseline. Stay on the pills. Like I mentioned earlier, you're not going to let go of your pills. You're going to continue your pills. Even one burger or loaf of bread is going to throw you out of the ketogenic state. You cannot afford that in this situation. And one piece of advice is always eat fresh food. And for some reason, we currently do not know the exact mechanism by which uh, low carbohydrate diets are helping out in this situation. However, it seems that low carbohydrate diets are what is needed to actually help out with epilepsy. Now, there actually has been a trial that if people eat carbohydrates of a low glycemic index, less than uh, 50 on the glycemic index score, then that also has benefit. Of course, not as much as as the, these two diets that I just talked about. And the last piece of advice would be to, if you are getting off these diets, you have to work on them slowly and make sure you're talking to your dietitian before you make any changes. Share this video so that this video goes viral and it helps out millions of people across the world. And if you have any questions or comments, please do let me know below in the comment section. And guys, always be the best representative of yourselves and be healthy. Thank you so much and talk to you soon.